The Great Grand Napier has been fired after commenting on decades of NBA basketball. And what was his great sin? Did he cheat with some financial law or did he get caught with a prostitute? No, no, we're not talking about some politician here. No, no, he tweeted out all lives matter. I kid you not. Let's dive into that in today's video. As you just heard, Grant Napier is known for his if you don't like that, you don't like NBA basketball quotes. If you've watched NBA basketball for some time, chances are that you know this guy, maybe not his name, but at least his voice. If you're a Sacramento Kings fan, for sure you know who this guy is. I've been following NBA basketball for around six or seven years now closely and this guy to me always seems like he was liked by everyone. So I was shocked when I, well shocked is a bit much, but I was surprised really. It's just that shocked sells a lot better you see. Let me just, let me just, I'm shocked. Ah. All right, let's move on. I was very surprised to see that the Kings had actually gotten rid of him because of this. Let's read this Fox News article. Sacramento Kings announcer Grant Napier out following All Lives Matter tweet. The article says Sacramento Kings play-by-play -play announcer Grant Napier, who called games for the NBA team since 1988, resigned Tuesday following comments he made regarding the Black Lives Matter movement. Grant Napier has resigned from the Sacramento Kings, the team said, according to the Sacramento Bee. We thank him for his contributions to the team and wish him all the best. Right. I want to thank the fans for their overwhelming love and support, Napier added in a statement. I will always remain a part of Kings Nation in my heart. All right, so it says that he resigned, but basically he was let go. And let's take a look at the tweet that got him in this position. So it started with Demarcus Cousins, who's a basketball player, and he played for the Kings for a long time before he moved on. He tweeted at Grant asking, what's your take on BLM, Black Lives Matter? Grant responded back, hey, how are you? Thought you forgot about me. Haven't, haven't heard from you in years. All lives matter every single day one now isn't that just a terrible response honestly that's hor <laughs> horrifying the problem here is that everyone thinks that people know about their political causes and in this case black lives matter but the reality is that most people don't especially older people who don't spend all day on social media as Napier explained later on, he has no idea about the Black Lives Matter slogan and he has no idea about the counter slogan that some radicals have sometimes used. So take a step back, put yourself in Napier's shoes. He is saying something that is as unoffensive as you can get. Can you say unoffensive? I don't know if that's a name, but you know what I mean. That all lives matter, every single one. Ah, but he wasn't woke enough. This 60-year-old man didn't know the slogan of a political movement that isn't even half as old as himself. And that is why he's a bad man. I mean, what exactly are they accusing him of here? Of being a racist? Or being politically uneducated? Because he sure isn't a racist. So since he's not woke enough, someone else is going to try to explain it to him. Mr. Poles says here, all lives do matter, but when you say that in the middle of a Black Lives Matter movement, it's basically downplaying the oppression happening to black people in this country. To which Napier responds, well, that's very unfortunate that you interpret my tweet that way. I believe every life is precious. Sorry, but that's how I feel. If you can't respect that, I'm sorry. He is saying that every life is precious and he keeps getting bullied on Twitter. Honestly, this is why social media sometimes is horrible. 
bullying a respected man in his 60s because he doesn't know the political slogan of someone else's cause. This is what happens when we men don't have to cut wood anymore. When we don't have that bear trying to knock in the door and we don't have to fend it off. Then we turn into this. We're insulting some 60-year-old otherwise beloved sports commentator. Alright, so let me hear your thoughts about this thing in the comment section below. It's frustrating to witness, especially when there are much more important issues going on right now. But either way, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.